Refreshing Stories My name is Hiroshi. I took after my father's business, who is the founder, and I'm the second generation owner of Ohira Sushi. I put my livelihood into serving everyone delicious sushi. However, business wasn't going the way I hoped, and I was being troubled by a certain problem. <sighs> I really hope there are good fish today. Is it going to be okay? Well then, I'll take this! <laughs> you know what to do, right? Yes, sir! But of course! Thank you for your continued business! <laughs> the guys here are so easy to use! What a joke! <laughs> uh, uh, damn it, that hurt! Bastard! Watch where you're walking! Do you want me to make your eyes sting so much you drown in your tears? Sorry, I don't really understand what you're saying. Wait. Aren't you the master chef at sushi restaurant Dokinda? Huh? Oh. Just as I was wondering who you are. You're the second generation of Ohira Sushi that's about to collapse! <laughs> You've got some nerve bumping into me like that. Are you asking to pick a fight with me? No, no! That wasn't my intention at all! I'm not picking a fight with anybody! I'm running a sushi restaurant just like you! I just pick fish! But also, when you were talking about making my eyes sting, were you talking about wasabi? Oh, look at you. You get it. That's an original joke that only our kind would understand. How was it? Hilarious, right? My jokes are as delicious as my sushi. What am I to do? Uh, <laughs> that's a little conceited, isn't it? Excuse me? Do you want me to seriously destroy you? For a tiny little restaurant like yours, if I get my hands on it, it's only a matter of time before you get out of business. What? What do you mean, if you get your hands on it? Nothing. Don't worry about it. See you. Unlike someone over here, I'm busy with prepping for a full restaurant, so I'm leaving. <laughs> Damn it. If only I could just purchase some good fish, too. Then... Uh... Excuse me! I'm Ohira, from Ohira Sushi. I've come here to purchase some fish. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Ohira Sushi. Hello. Um, I'm very sorry, but... All of the seafood in this area has been claimed by Mr. Dokinda already. It's been like that for a long time now. Why? Why won't you let other sushi restaurants like me purchase anything? Uh, there are some things that are out of my control. Those offcuts over there, I could give you those for cheap, so can you just give me a break? No, but... Please, please, don't complain so much. All of us fishermen, we can't go against Mr. Dokinda of all people. Please, understand the situation. Sure. Oh, but I do remember hearing somewhere that there was one small fisherman from Hokkaido that's refusing to sell to Mr. Tokinda, but for people like us, we have to play by the big fish's rules, otherwise we can't make a living! Um, I've been wondering this for a long time now, but what exactly do you mean by that? I can't understand why Mr. Tokinda has been able to basically claim all of the fishermen for himself. What exactly is going on around here? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. There's nothing more I can say to you. Come on, hurry up and take these small fish, and please leave. Hey, wait! <sighs> what on earth is going on here? That certain problem I was talking about was that I haven't been able to get any good fish into our restaurant, and therefore, I haven't been able to serve sushi that's satisfying. For the record, that man that was belittling me at the fish market was the owner of the major high-end sushi restaurant, Sushi Restaurant Tokinda, Master Chef, Mr. Tokinda. Apparently my father knew him as well, and it seems like they didn't get along very well. <sighs> I was only able to get these tiny off cuts of fish today, but going to the supermarket and getting fish there goes against my father's teachings. Hmm? There's somebody in front of the restaurant. Oh, you're finally back! Mister, you're the master of Ohira Sushi, right? Yeah, I am, but aren't you a high school student? What on earth could you want from this sushi restaurant that's about to go out of business? I came here all the way from a Hokkaido to try your sushi, so please, will you let me have some sushi? You came all the way here from such a far place? But why? Well, if you're okay with something simple, I can make you some. Yay! Thank you! Well, then I'll take the chef's recommendations. Well then, first, here's the Ohira Sushi Special. Mackerel cured in kombu seaweed. Can't wait to try it! Wow, this is gross. What is this? It's terrible. Excuse me? 
The dashi from the kombu seaweed isn't properly seeped into the mackerel. Also, the salts that you used isn't coming through at all. Uh, I have nothing to say back to that. Well, then, next up will be seared sweet sea bream. Let's see here. Wow, this is also terrible. This soy sauce doesn't go with the sea bream at all. For this, I think salt would go way better with it. And plus... Plus? First of all, the fish and sushi rice to begin with aren't tasty at all. If you're making 5 bowls of sushi rice, then you need at least 12cc more vinegar. And on the other hand, you have 7 grams too much sugar. Basically, what you have right now is completely unacceptable. No! At the fish market, I was made fun of by a competitor in the same industry. And now this high school girl is bashing me. Is my sushi just... Uh, maybe I just need to close the restaurant already. No, no, wait a minute. It's too soon to give up just yet. Hey, mister, how would you want to leave this restaurant to me for a bit? What? Oh, please. You're just a high school student. I know I may not seem like it, but I actually have perfect taste. And plus, I do know the very basic rules for a sushi restaurant as well. No, but still... Well, that's enough for today, lol. Thanks for the sushi, mister. I'll leave the money right here. Well, then, see you tomorrow. You're going to come tomorrow too? Yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow, so you can decide then. Whether you're going to close the restaurant like this, or if you want to try leaving it to me. Alright, but also, I'm a little late to ask this, but who and what are you? Oh, I'm sorry, I need to hurry and get back to Hokkaido, so I'm leaving now. Well, then, see you! Hey, wait! <sighs> Why was today such a hectic day? And then, the next day... <sighs> I'm here at the fish market earlier than I was yesterday. But once again, nobody would sell to me. What am I supposed to do? Hey, you bastard! I heard that you sold fish to Ohira Sushi! What do you think you're doing? Should I slice you up and put you on some rice? No, even if I did sell to him... It was all the cutoffs, so there wasn't anything good in there anyway. Shut up! Listen up. You better not sell to anybody other than the restaurants that I have given permission to. And if I find out that you sold anything to anyone else, you know what's going to happen to you, right? Wow! Please spare me! If you don't want the same thing to happen to you that I did to that tiny fisherman in Hokkaido who refused to sell to me, you better do exactly as I say. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say! Sheesh. You should have just done that from the beginning. Well then, I'm going! <laughs> no, it all makes sense. Dokinda's using his power, and that's how he's manipulating all of the fishermen around the country, by threatening them. Now I've solved the mystery of why I haven't been able to buy any decent fish. But also, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to get any good fish. Not now, or ever. Damn it! Maybe I have no choice but to give up already. Hey there, mister! Come on, you're so late. It's really cold, so can you hurry up and let me into the restaurant? Look, to tell you the truth, it looks like it's going to be impossible to keep this restaurant going. It looks like the master from Sushi Restaurant Tokinda has all of the fishermen around the country by the balls, and nobody's willing to sell to my sushi restaurant anymore. Interesting. So what? What? What do you mean, so what? What I'm saying is, if I can't get any fresh fish, then it's impossible to continue this sushi restaurant! It's the same as being a western outlaw without an M19! But even without an M19, they can do it just as well with a different gun. It's the same with fresh fish. You won't get anywhere only by looking at things you've lost, mister. But still... You can stop with the analogies that don't even make sense. More importantly, can you try scaling the sea bream? What? Sure. Alright. Alright. Well then, let's see here. Ah! This is... a fragrant salt that brings out the sweetness of the sea bream! What is this deliciousness? It's the best! I've never had something like this before! Right? Right? Now, imagine if you could get the sea bream at a reasonable price, and then you could have a lot of customers eat this! Don't you think that would be the best as a sushi master? Wow! That is exactly the type of sushi chef I'm hoping to be! If I could work with such high-grade fish, that would be the happiest life of all! That's why I told you to leave it to me. When it comes to the fish, I'm going to prepare everything. And also, I'm going to look over the full menu as well. 
Really? Who are you? And where did you come from? Also, why are you going so far to be nice to me? My name is Mirai, and to tell you the truth, we were saved by your father. So to return the favor for that, and to get revenge on that guy, that's why I came all this way to see you, mister. My father saved you? And you want to return the favor? And get revenge? What are you talking about? Can you please explain it to me? My father is a fisherman in a small town in Hokkaido. It's a very small population, but between his fisherman friends and his mates in the industry, he seemed to love his job every day and was always giving to those around him. But the person who destroyed that peaceful life was that Dokinda. What? Mr. Dokinda did? That guy, using money and his influence, he threatened all of the fishermen around the country. He told us all not to sell any decent fish to anybody but his restaurant. What a bastard! Nobody could compete with his money and power. So one by one, the fishermen were doing as Dokinda told them to, but my dad refused to go with it until the very end. But as a result, Dokinda didn't like my father for it, and he pressured everybody around him to make sure that my father's business collapsed. Wow, that's terrible. At that time, my dad didn't know what to do, and the person that saved him was your father. Your father went around to other sushi restaurants and convinced them to place a large order for my father. I didn't know that my dad did that. Thanks to that, my father is still able to continue doing what he loves the most. And that's why your father is our family savior. However... However? Because of that, your father was hated by Dokinda. And then all of the fishermen and other sushi restaurants had to keep their distance from him. The reason why you're suffering now is because of that too. That must be why my dad got sick, too. My dad also hasn't been feeling well as he gets older. That's why I haven't been able to get in touch with you. I'm truly so sorry. Oh, no, no. This isn't something for you to apologize for. I think I kind of understand the situation. But if your father isn't feeling well, wouldn't it be hard for us to get such good fish regularly? And that's why I'm saying, this is where I come in. Don't worry, just leave it to me. Both this restaurant and your future. One more thing. I went to that Dokinda's restaurant that's so popular to investigate, and there's something that I noticed. He's doing what a chef must never do. That's why I will never forgive him or let him get away with this. And so, three months after I met this mysterious high school girl, Mirai, one day... Ugh, what a chore to go to the Assembly for Japanese Food Associations. More than an assembly of restaurants. I need to be complaining to the fishermen who haven't been getting as much fish as they used to. Wait, that reminds me. Isn't this area close to where Ohira Sushi is? I hear that he hasn't been showing his face in the markets or to the fishermen recently. But maybe that means he's gone out of business already. <laughs> Wait, what? What? This is the end of the line for Ohira Sushi. I'm terribly sorry for the long wait. Please be patient for a little bit longer. Hey, Ohira, what the hell is this? This is a crazy line! What on earth is going on? Didn't your restaurant go out of business already? Why should the restaurant be out of business? Every day there's a very long line out the door, and I'm simply happy. What did you say? Did you hire a new chef that has six arms? And that's why you're outside, like a part-timer? Managing the line? What are you saying? I'm making all of the sushi and serving it myself. The most fresh, high-grade fish, that is. That's a lie! There's no way there's any fisherman that would sell anything good to you! Ha! I know! I, I bet you're importing some cheap fish from overseas and lying that it's domestic! No, no, I would never do something like that. I'm making my sushi with fresh fish that's coming directly from Hokkaido. You're lying! I'm not going to accept this! It's all true! We are getting our deliveries from fishermen that I have signed direct contracts with. Excuse me? A little high school student like you? Talking about contracts? Don't be stupid! You're the stupid one, Dokinda. I am the representative director of Second Penguin LLC, Mirai Asari. And from what I recall, I believe you know my father very well. Asari? As in... Not the guy who went against me until the end? That... Uh, but... How? Why? Don't you know that fishermen don't go after fish just for you to make money? They want people to enjoy the fresh and delicious fish. And that's why they go out and risk their lives when it's still dark out to go fishing for all of us. And you know what? For the fishermen, even if they're threatened, 
if they're just going to be treated at your convenience, then they all would much rather do direct business with this restaurant too. What? What are you talking about? It looks like the fishermen are finally ready to go against you. They said they're not going to sell their fish to you anymore. No, wait, wait. There's no way that's... We've already notified all of the fishermen around the country, along with all of your evil, shady actions. All of it. Evil? I haven't done anything wrong, though. The fish that you're serving at your restaurant? Not all of that is domestic, is it? You are serving imported fish and claiming it is domestic, aren't you? And then, on the other hand, you're taking the fish that you purchased from the local fishermen and using your own personal route to ship them overseas, aren't you? Excuse me? What are you talking about? You must be crazy! There's no way that I would do something like that! Nope, because my taste buds have never been wrong. The fish that you serve at your restaurant is definitely not fish that was caught in Japan. And I have already reported this to the mass media, as well as the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. What? If we investigate the place of origin of your sushi, we'll figure it out at once. Well, and once the fishermen give their statements, that will be enough for the whole country to know what you've been doing. Wait, 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 please! I'm begging you! Please at least spare me of that! If society finds out about this, nobody will be laughing! Why don't you do something about that yourself, with that sense of humor of yours? Well, you're already serving that fish as we speak, so it's probably impossible anyway. <laughs> After that, Mr. Teruro Dokinda, who was earning a lot of money by threatening the fishermen and faking the fish that he was serving, well, not only did he lose business with all of the fishermen around the country after everybody found out about his shady business, he was kicked out of the industry. On the other hand, I rebuilt my restaurant with the help of Mirai, and now we've grown so much that I own multiple Ohira sushis around the country. Without becoming arrogant like Mr. Dokinda, everybody's enjoying the sushi that we serve with fish from the local fishermen. And as for Mirai and me, at the same time as her graduating high school, uh... <laughs> Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!